YouTube. How's it going guys? Today I want to talk about just some basic, basic advice for when you're submitting your art to a gallery. So the important thing about submitting artwork to a gallery is that you want to have it framed. You are not going to take just a piece of paper with art, or like, you know, your paper artwork to a gallery and expect that it's going to be hung up or whatever, right? Like, what are they going to do? Tack it to the wall? and then wreck the paper. That's not gonna happen. And if any gallery has suggested that they would do that, don't go there, that's bad. Um, yeah, so you wanna have your artwork framed and you don't wanna get just dollar store frames. I mean, like, maybe you can, some of them might be okay, but what you're looking for in a frame is that it is something that you can put a mat into. So you do not want to have those floating frames that are just like two pieces of glass and then you like sandwich your artwork in the glass and then hang it up. It looks kind of cool, but um, if you have the glass pressed right up against your artwork, moisture might get in and it might damage the paper. So you want to have a little bit of airspace between your artwork and the glass. And that was that is what a mat is for, a mat is to keep your artwork away from the glass. Um, so if you're putting your artwork into a frame that has a mat, make sure that you tape your artwork to the back of the mat so that the artwork doesn't slip <laughs> when it's in the frame, because I mean, that, that just looks bad. And make sure that the tape is acid free. Okay, so another thing that you should pay attention to when you're putting your artwork into a frame is that you clean the glass on both sides okay be meticulous be meticulous so like really wipe down the glass on both sides get all of those fingerprints off all of them look at it from many different angles make sure that you've got all of the smudges off and and then you can put the artwork into the frame i mean if this is something that's going to be hanging up on your wall and it's something that is important, something like you, you don't just put anything up on your wall. You put something up on your wall because it's important to you, because you like how it looks. You don't want the first thing that people notice to be the smudge marks on your frame. So make sure that you are cleaning that frame meticulously and make sure that it's perfectly dry before you put your artwork in. Okay, but you get the point. <laughs> Make sure that you frame your artwork and clean the frame <laughs> before you put your artwork into it and tape the artwork to the back of the mat and make sure there's a mat so that there's some airflow between your artwork and the glass. Now, if you've got your, like say you've got a painting that is on a canvas and the edges look pretty good, you could probably get away with not having a frame, but in my opinion, I think things often just look a lot better framed. Um, and you can get some cheap basic frames, well, like cheap basic frames from places like Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby is a place that I hear about in the States. Uh, I don't, whatever. I'm Canadian, so you can get them at Michael's <laughs> or your local art store or something. Like they don't have to be really elaborate. And like maybe they shouldn't be really elaborate, especially if people might change out the frame anyway to make it fit better in their decor. You don't want to invest a whole bunch of money on a frame or like, you know, if you invest a whole bunch of money on a frame, you spend hundreds of dollars on, on this frame. Then if you're submitting it to a gallery and you want to sell the artwork, then you have to account for the price of the frame itself. And then suddenly a piece of artwork that you might have been selling at a price that people would buy. Now they're also having to spend like an extra couple hundred dollars just for the frame itself. So, I mean, it might be nice, but if you're just starting out, maybe it's not something that you want to start with. So I hope this was helpful to you and we'll see you next time.